SMU is hoping that you can help identify a group of young men who have been part of a white supremacy group that targeted the campus over the weekend. They were captured in photos, and our Steve Pickett is live on the campus with what officials are saying there tonight. Steve? Well, these officials aren't happy about it, and a lot of students we talked with today said words such as this was a publicity stunt or a complete waste of time because it happened over the weekend. But what was clear is that this was a targeted campaign of white supremacy that happened on this campus. SMU police released two recorded images. In this one, five men walking Saturday night near the campus. In the second photo, one man has a large poster in his hands. Campus police believe this was that poster. White men, save your people, reject the opioid beast. Then there's two men with masks giving the Nazi salute in front of that banner. The group Texas Vanguard claimed responsibility for not only that banner, but also for posted signs on campus that promote a white revolution. Is there an audience for white supremacy on this campus? Absolutely, not. Absolutely not, no. No, I, I would I would say that's that's not the uh, type of crowd that SMU caters towards or endorses in any way, shape, or form. Just feeling like maybe because there isn't as much diversity that they can speak to a specific crowd and thinking they're going to get a certain reaction out of certain people, but it didn't really happen like that. Reaction from the university came from campus president Gerald Turner, saying SMU supports freedom of speech, but any person who hangs unauthorized signs or defaces university property is subject to prosecution. The white supremacist group apparently made no direct outreach to students on campus. SMU police are calling the five pictured here persons of interest. This is definitely not something we stand for, and so for it to happen on our campus is definitely not so unexpected. As a result, again, from the university standpoint, a police investigation based on the policy here, no clearance to uh, come onto this campus and put up those banners. They deem it a possible criminal trespass, but also philosophically saying this is abhorrent. We don't accept it. We reject it. So that's why they're moving forward as well. Those pictures of those individuals, they want folks to look at them. If they know who those individuals are, contact SMU police. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.